Hello everyone, welcome to Shivam's Biology. In this video, I am going to answer a question that is why does chloride shift occur? And in the answer of this question, there lies another bigger question and that question will also be answered in this video. So stay tuned. Before starting the video, I would like to inform you that this video is a part of our previous video that was on the topic of transportation of gases. I have provided the link in description. So if you haven't already watched that video, go back and watch that video first and then come to this video. So let's continue. Here the question was why does chloride shift occur? The direct answer, it occurs to maintain the balance of charge. Let's come here. What happens here? That bicarbonate ion is produced by the dissociation of carbonic acid. The dissociation of carbonic acid produces two ions. The first one is bicarbonate ion and the second one is hydrogen ion. And this bicarbonate ion goes out of the RBC hence to maintain charge another negative ion that is the chloride ion is brought inside the RBC and this phenomenon is called chloride shift. Now the bigger question that arises here is that what is the need for this bicarbonate ion to go outside from the RBC. Why does it go out from the RBC? Apparently, there doesn't seem to be any reason. Here, what happens? Near the tissues, CO2 is produced. Some of the CO2 is dissolved directly in the plasma. Some amount of CO2, that is about 23%, is associated with the hemoglobin here and forms carb amino hemoglobin and it is present in this form and a large amount of co2 that is about 70 percent combines with water combines with water in the presence of enzyme carbonic anhydrase to produce carbonic acid and this carbonic acid dissociates into bicarbonate ion and hydrogen ion. Now listen carefully. This hydrogen ion if left here will cause a disturbance of pH. It will make the surroundings acidic. So these protons, these hydrogen ions should be settled somewhere. This responsibility is carried out by the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin consists of two parts as you already know heme and globin. The globin part is its protein part which consists of four polypeptide chains, two alpha chain and two beta chain. In these polypeptide chains there are some amino acids mainly histidine which contains some negatively charged site and this proton goes and attaches with that part of hemoglobin so this proton gets settled with the hemoglobin now if this bicarbonate accumulates here this reaction continues in very high speed because carbonic anhydrase is a very fast enzyme and this reaction keeps on going in a very fast speed that is the CO2 keeps on coming from the cell and the formation of carbonic acid continues and since the formation of carbonic acid continues in a very high speed the formation of these ions will also continue at a very high speed. And if 
these bicarbonates accumulate here inside the RBC then the rate of this reaction will start to become slower which reaction I am talking about the reaction of combination of CO2 with H2O to produce a carbonic acid so it is needed to take this bicarbonate ion outside from the RBC if it is not taken out then the reaction will ultimately stop in order to keep this reaction going this bicarbonate ion is needed to be transported out from the RBC to facilitate this there is a protein present on the membrane of RBC here is the protein which helps to take these bicarbonate ions out from the RBC this protein is known as anion exchanger 1 protein or there is another name for it it is also known as band 3 protein band 3 protein it is encoded this protein is encoded by a gene called SLC 4A1 this is a gene present in human genome and this gene encodes this protein anion exchanger 1 protein or what we call band 3 protein what is the function of this protein it helps to transport bicarbonate ion and in exchange for it it takes in another negatively charged ion that is the chloride ion so chloride ion is taken in and bicarbonate ion is taken out from the RBC now there is another question it is clear that why is bicarbonate taken here out from the RBC because if it accumulates here then this reaction will slow down so to keep this reaction going at fast pace the accumulation of bicarbonate is uh, must to be prevented and so it is transported out now the another question that arises here is that why does bicarbonate shows such dual nature that here near the tissues it goes out from the RBC and while reaching near the alveoli that is near the lungs it again comes inside the RBC here you can see when this blood reaches in the pulmonary capillaries the bicarbonate ion that is present here in the plasma now comes inside the RBC and the reverse thing occurs here that is the chloride ion is taken out from the RBC and the phenomenon of reverse chloride shift occur here what is the need here you must know that while this all thing was happening near the tissues most of the bicarbonates were taken out from the RBC at very fast speed but not all of them goes out most of them goes out of the RBC and some of them remain inside the RBC some of them remain inside the RBC what happens next when they all reach near the pulmonary capillaries the bicarbonate ions that are already present in the RBC combine with H plus combined with hydrogen ions to produce carbonic acid that is H2CO3 but since inside RBC there is very little amount of bicarbonate present since most of the bicarbonate gets transported out from the RBC here there is a very little amount of bicarbonate present inside the RBC and very soon it gets exhausted and what also keeps on happening here that the CO2 that was dissolved in plasma now due to the change in partial pressure diffuses into the lungs 
the another form of co2 that was attached with the carb amino hemoglobin also goes into the alveoli and hence this co2 which is uh, forming here due to the dissociation of carbonic acid will also go into the alveoli but this process will not continue on its own because here inside the RBC there is very little amount of bicarbonate ion present hence the bicarbonates that were previously transported out from the RBC now start rushing into the RBCs these bicarbonate ions rush into the RBC and the reverse thing occurs also here that the negative charge of uh, chloride ion is transported out from the RBC so to make all this clear again what happens near the tissues near the tissues this bicarbonate ion goes out since if it accumulates here it will cause this reaction to slow down and here near the alveoli HCO3 minus or the bicarbonate ions start come into the RBC to maintain the rate of this reaction and to supply bicarbonates for the formation of carbonic acid. I hope the thing is clear to you. If you find any difficulty, please let me know via the comment section. If you find this video helpful, then please like the video, comment, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates.